in Jesus' name. Pray with me, Lord Jesus Christ. My, my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, not of demons, in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, my body is a temple of your Holy Spirit, not of demons, in Jesus' name. No demon got the right in me, not in my mind, not in my makeup, not in my character, not in my body, not in my soul, in Jesus' name. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. All evil powers and all deception and every form of a demon out of my body and out of my life, in Jesus' name. Out of my body and out of my life, in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I give you my body. It's, it's your temple. It's a temple of Holy Spirit, not of evil spirits. Every evil form and every evil spirit and every evil influence out of my life in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Give your Lord a hand. Amen. Pray, my Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us of the evil one, of all his snares, deceit, evil, temptations, pitfalls, de deception, in Jesus' name. To you belong the glory, the honor and the worship, the power forevermore, in Jesus' name. Give your Lord a hand. Amen. Now pray again. Pray, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of grace, of mercy and kindness, show Jesus to me. Teach me about Jesus. Teach me about God's ways. Holy Spirit, come, lead us, guide us, minister to us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give your Lord a hand. Amen. You take your seat quickly. For this reason, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the work of the devil. Say, a manifestation took place on the earth. I tell you, it's a great miracle. A virgin conceived and bore a child, a son. Give God a hand for that miracle. God himself gave the human race a sign that is involved. Wherever God is involved, he gives you a sign. If God does not give you a sign, he's not involved. Don't come and tell me, oh, God said this and that to me. I will ask you, what sign did God give you? God does nothing unless he gives you a sign. To Gideon, he gave him three signs. Give God a hand. If you are wise, the Bible says, let everything be confirmed by two or three witnesses. You said you heard the Lord to do that and that and that. I want to know that God said that to you. Many people say many things and I hear many voices. But if God says something to you and he guides you, there must be a clear sign and there must be witnesses, at least two. So the Bible says, let everything be confirmed by two or three witnesses. Satan is to get a sober mind. Come on, Christians, jump around and do this and that and that. And many of them say, the Lord says thus and the Lord says thus. I want to see, I want to see your witnesses. Let everything be confirmed by two or three witnesses. You cannot build faith on something that you are not 100% sure of God. And how will you know it's 100% God? Not by your own imagination. You need a sign from heaven. Talawasa. In Jesus' name. Pray, Lord Jesus, my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, not of deception and lying devils that deceive me and lead me along the wrong track to destroy me. But you came to give me life. And life abundant. Come on, everything, there's a couple of things you need to know. Whatever God do, um, you say, he said, you must do that, he must give you a sign. 
Secondly, everything, everything must be confirmed by two or three witnesses. Three witnesses is better. Give God a hand. Everything you do must be confirmed by two or three witnesses. At least two. And everything that God tells you to do, He will give you a sign. He is the God of signs and wonders. When He gave me, my wife to me, He gave me a clear sign. It was my wife. It was confirmed. When I was a small boy, I knew my wife would be English speaking. She's not an English woman, she's English speaking. I mean, her father is a German and her mother is Irish. But she was English speaking from a very small age. I knew she would be English speaking. I always knew it. Then it was confirmed when I met that. Give God that. <laughs> Hallelujah. It was confirmed when I met her. I knew this, this one. And, and it was confirmed by, signs, by a sign that we need to come to, to Polokwane. Not one sign, three signs give Jesus' hand. Three very clear signs that I had to come here. That could not be questioned or doubted. Amen. Satan is to your God as the God of signs and wonders. He's the God that still speaks. First thing, he speaks through his word. Then he always confirms his word. He never speaks through his word, not confirming that word. Give your Lord a hand. Hallelujah. He always confirms his word. God will not use his word to say something if he doesn't confirm that word. And therefore he says, let everything be confirmed. Let everything, not some matters, let everything be confirmed by two or three witnesses. Give Jesus a hand. Your God is the God who created the heavens and the earth. And he wants to bless you. And he wants to show himself to you. Therefore, faith is touchable. Faith can be seen. And faith can be experienced. Are you okay? Christians, they hear many voices. They say, oh, the Lord said this, the Lord said this. They run here, they run there. They run here, they, oh, they, they, they spend their money on nonsense. They run here, they run there. Say to God, is to God's word is saying, let everything, everything be confirmed by two or three witnesses. Therefore, there's too many Christians doing too many things and wasting their time and energy. They should wait upon the Lord, and when the Lord speaks, then very clearly, then you should run. Give God a hand. Then you run in Jesus' name. Not before the time. 